Hello everyone. A vacuum cleaner not dissimilar to the one I'm about to unbox gave me a little bit of a shock in an earlier video when the suppressor blew up. Now I'm not going to be opening, as you know, I'm not going to be opening a Hoover Smart upright vacuum cleaner. I'm going to be opening an Electrolux 506, which is almost the same as my Electrolux 560. I don't know why Electrolux did this. They, they had the 504, which I've also shown you on my channel, that lovely yellow machine. And the 506 superseded it. And then, for some reason, Electrolux more or less renamed it the 560, because I think it's basically the same. So the 506 came first. So, let's get it open. Hopefully, this has arrived intact, with no damage. It's always a, a worry when I'm opening used vacuums, not so much when it's a brand new factory sealed machine, but when it's a, a used machine, you've got to rely on the people doing the packaging to do a good job. And that's a good sign. Lots and lots of these air pocket thingamajigs. I can see the handle poking out. Crikey, it is absolutely full, which will come in handy for when I get rid of some of my vacuums. I've already sold quite a few and I'm going to get rid of a lot more. So I always keep the packaging, even this box I can use for another cleaner, I expect. Okay, well. It's a shame they didn't uh, wrap the machine itself to stop this uh, hose from scratching it. Now this hose, yes, it comes with some cleaning tools. Um, I don't know if it's, it's a very odd thing. It will fit, it's quite long, but I don't think it's genuine Electrolux. It's, look at the length of that. Now, uh, got some bits and bobs in there. I'll have a look at that in a minute. And I think we've got a tube, or did we? Yes, we have. Now, I do have another tool set that fits the 500 series and one that's more, I think, appropriate for the 506. But I am missing, I can't remember what model it is. It might be my Electrolux 355 cylinder. I need, needed one of these single long tubes. So I think I'll use this. I'll second this from this tool set and uh, complete my Electrolux 355. So, okie dokie. Out. Oh, right. I'm going to do this off camera. I will uh, gently slide out this Electrolux vacuum. Well, folks, I think the vacuum gods have been smiling on me this week because at the time of making this video yesterday, I unboxed a Hoover Junior Deluxe in absolutely fantastic condition and I polished it up today and it's even better. This wasn't quite as good as it looks now. I've done a little bit of polishing and the seller claimed it was refurbished, but to be honest, I just think it's a vacuum that's had very little use. I can normally tell the difference between a used vacuum that's been refurbished and a vacuum that's just not seen much dirt. So I've polished this up. It's not without a couple of flaws, which I'll point out. Mainly it's changed color considerably, and I'll show you the original color, but it still looks very nice. I've just been using yesterday and today, plug plug, T-cut, Rapid Scratch Remover. Now this is, you do this after you've cleaned the vacuum as a sort of a final. You could do another polish on top, but I've just used this. You just apply it with one cloth, rub it in circular movements, leave it to dry to a haze, and then buff up with a clean cloth. And you'll get a very shiny, lovely looking vacuum cleaner, if you're lucky. There is a couple of deep scratches on this machine, but all in all, I'm so, look at it. 
it is absolutely amazing condition this machine and I've had a quick look at the underside it the wheels look almost new so it hasn't had a lot of use um, also in the box there was a crevice tool and we've got uh, some genuine bags here this is a bit of a grubby dusting tool I mean is it possible that whoever had this machine just used the hose with it mainly and not much of the upright who knows or well, I just think this was just added I'm not really sure if this would have been um, the nozzle that it came with it doesn't quite match does it this brown this is the butterfly tool obviously that way for dusting that way for your upholstery and we also have amazingly the instruction book and one two three four genuine bags a bit later than the bags I remember the original bags were, were yellow but just a single layer of paper for these and here's the lovely instruction book that needs a uh, flattening out the Electrolux electronic 506 twin cleaner twin meaning you can convert it for above floor cleaning so there she is in a very very lavish looking home look at that look at the the uh, wooden moldings behind her wood panels and big staircase I don't think uh, they would have had that cleaner I think a, a bigger commercial machine would have been more appropriate oh, we've got a picture of the cleaning tools so we can have a look see if they are original but I don't think they are especially the hose I've never seen oh well strike me down that does look like I've never seen one like that so it, it they probably are and it's yeah look at the handle on that it's the same yeah it's not oh well that's good then so it looks like it is the original that's that's lovely this has got September 1981 on it which is what I would have think you know this I thought this would be early 80s okay so wow that is the proper hose now if you're watching this in the USA or possibly in Canada you got this machine but it was called the Viking uh, was it a Viking 507 or something one of those went on uh, eBay recently a new in the box one I sort of thought about buying it but uh, with the shipping charge and import costs it would have been ridiculously expensive so whoever got that congratulations but this one oh, wow it's in lovely lovely condition but I'll show you the original colour because it's gone darker. It's not just white appliances that yellow. Coloured appliances can change colour as well. I mean, it's not so noticeable on a coloured appliance. But this should be able to see what a difference in colour. That is the colour I would remember. And I'm sure that's the colour of my 560. You can see it's gone a lot, lot darker. But it's you know I'm not going to even attempt retro brighting this because to me it looks fine the way it is let's start off by having a look at the underside of this Electrolux electronic 506 well as you can see it's all very clean I did give it a quick wipe over the brushes quite stiff and in very good condition I think the belt will need replacing feels a bit slack but it's all brush it's four brushes on this too long too short doesn't have the beta bars that you, you used to get on some Electrolux cleaners so it's just all brushing action a nice little metal strip either side there and it's the wheels you see that's what tells me that this has hardly had any use because someone who refurbishes vacuum cleaners wouldn't bother changing the wheels it's, you know if they're not broken but you can see both of the front wheels there's hardly a mark on them 
and looking at the back wheels again they've seen little use they've seen not many miles of carpet there's some light dust under here a bit of fluff but all in all that is very nice here's the cleaner head in again excellent condition this is showing a little bit of wear there's some light scratches on the top you might just be able to see a slight change in the color where the machine's been stood upright it is ever so differently colored here slightly lighter uh, there is just here you can see a bit of a, a deeper scratch and at the side here but apart from that I mean it is it's lovely look at it so we have because this is deluxe it has some extra features that you don't find on the 502 so here's the first deluxe feature a suction control very like the one on the electrolux 504 so you have a max and a minimum but you can also adjust the suction electronically by reducing the speed to reduce the suction and increasing it using the electronic dial on the top of the bag compartment I'll show you that in a minute so I'm just wondering why Electrolux decided to have two suction controls but anyway there, there are two suction controls there and on the side we have height settings so this is for your normal pile the head floats so it'll adjust for normal to medium pile carpet with the lever front and with the lever pushed back that's more suitable for longer pile carpets so that's what I'll try it on when I'm testing this machine out for the first time at the back of the cleaner head we've got the foot operated pedal to lower the handle so you just obviously press that and you can lower the handle to the operating position and then if you want to go under low furniture you give it a bit of a, a jerk and then you can clean under low furniture and also here at the back we've got the port where we can connect up the hose so I'll just show you that just grab the hose hose just slides in like that and it locks into position further up the back of the cleaner we've got the combined carry handle and lower cord storage hook this can be a weak point on this style of cleaner so be careful carrying one of these especially as they get older at the top we have the upper cord storage hook which you can turn down to release the cable in one go here's the on off switch with the mains on indicator and again you can see the color difference this is the color the machine should be and this is the color it's gone for some reason the plastic must be different on the handles because I've seen this with other Electrolux cleaners including my 502 the green is slightly different on the handle as opposed to the uh, the handle column here this is a neon indicator so it's on when you plug the machine in but the cleaners not on when you turn the cleaner on the indicator light goes off so basically you should know when the machine's running so when it's off it just shows you that it's still plugged in here's the electronic power control so you can select minimum for lightweight rugs and carpets normal for regular vacuuming or for a deeper intensive clean you can switch to boost okay so finally before switching the cleaner on let's have a look at the rating plates a bit hard to see but this is a Lux product made in Britain model Z506 product number 9005915 serial number 201 could that mean February 1981 possibly 240 volts 50 Hertz 550 watts well despite the fabulous condition of this Electrolux 506 I'm not going to take any chances again I'm going to plug it in at a safe distance to show you it's still got the original cable clamp to secure the cable and I would say an age appropriate plug oh <laughs> can't see the brand but it's made in Hong Kong okay here goes now hopefully when I turn the switch on the socket 
the mains on indicator light on the cleaner should illuminate. Well, so far so good. So now I can switch the cleaner on and then switch on at the socket. Fingers crossed, I've started it off on the minimum power setting. I'm a little bit nervous of this cleaner because it was when I was adjusting the motor speed on my 560. That's when the suppressor in the handle blew. So it could happen at any moment. What I'm going to do with this after the video is actually open up the handle and uh, remove the suppressor. I don't think it was a difficult job. It was pretty easy to do. Um, yeah. It's a bit smelly. I didn't show you inside the bag compartment, did I? I'll show you that in a minute. Yeah, it's smelling a bit musty, but um, yeah, it's, it seems okay. Okay then, let's, uh, I've got it on normal this time. <laughs> It definitely needs a new belt. Um, hopefully I've got one upstairs somewhere. <laughs> yeah, because it was struggling a bit. Um, it was okay when I reduced the speed and had it on the higher setting. But uh, yes, it definitely just needs really a new belt. And uh, yeah, all in all, <laughs> very pleased with this. I'll switch the cleaner off at the wall just to be safe. I'll just show you the bag compartments if you haven't seen one before. I just love the way that the whole handle folds down completely in half. And then basically you remove, ooh, a bit dusty, you remove, oh dear, <laughs> I've removed the filter as well. You remove the dust bag slide off the clip and that again that's the proper clip it should have a red clip and you can reuse these i think at about three times maximum but suction will be depleted after a while because the pores in this single layer paper bag will block what also came out it shouldn't really come out is the uh, filter i've got some new ones of those but that can be washed and under that filter just about see it's hard to show you without can you see folks just about there we go that's a fixed filter that's better there we are. that is yes you can wash that as well that needs to be uh, removed with a screwdriver Phillips type so for this for its time <laughs> compared to the offerings Hoover had in the late 70s early 80s this was a very sophisticated vacuum cleaner so we can pop the bag back just try not getting a bit of dust cloud but uh, a little bit of dust won't hurt me what's also nice is the little sponge donut hasn't perished and it it's no sign that it's going to perish it's not crumbling so that's good that just helps provide a seal into the bag because the dirt enters the machine obviously from the front and works its way up the back up through this hole here and then when the handle is closed obviously it goes through this part and into here and then into the bag so yep very nice let's uh, attach the hose and I can have a quick uh, feel of the suction. There we are. It's a nice secure fit. 
And the good thing about these cleaners, obviously it's much easier to connect a hose to one of these than it was for the Hoover cleaners of the time, the Junior and Senior, Junior Deluxe. You had to fit a pan converter, but with this one, obviously much easier and you can pull the machine along quite easily with the hose attached. Okay, I'll put it on boost. Need to turn it on at the wall. That would help Lodge. Don't blow up on me, blood though, please. Don't blow up, not yet. Well, that's not going to set the world on fire suction wise, and we can find out now if I can find my suction gauge. Yes, it's here. Not as uh, powerful as I remembered. It's quite a long hose though. It's not gonna measure much, but it should be an improvement on the suction provided by Hoover Uprights from this period. Well, that measured about 30 on the vacuum gauge on boost. So not great, but obviously adequate for your above floor cleaning. Well, fortunately, I think I found a correct belt for this 506. I bought uh, a 500 tool kit recently, and there was an instruction book. I think it was for a 504 or 502. There was an instruction book in it, as well as a spare belt. So I think this is a 500 series belt. Doesn't say, doesn't give any, ah, hang on. Ah, 410, 414, 502. Yes, it's got all the model numbers on here. So, I've unplugged the machine. So we'll do a quick belt change, shall we? All we have to do is undo two screws. Like so. And, yeah, with it all, oh dear, look. Revealing a bit of a bit of dust build up there, a bit of fluff. So what I'm going to do is use the cleaner to clean itself. So we'll just take out the the brush. I'll just remove the base plate as well. Makes it easier. And take the belt off if I can. There's that much uh, fluff, it's hard to get my finger around. I know, we'll, we'll get some of the fluff off. It's a bit naughty, I know, but I'm going to plug the hose back in and use the cleaner to clean itself. Okay, let's switch it on again. Okay, that seems to have done the trick. A bit unusual using the same vacuum to clean itself. Well, saves me getting another vacuum out, doesn't it? So let's just, um, I've unplugged again for safety and we'll just slip off this stretched belt. Bit tricky. Hang on, yeah. 
come on there we are and I'll take the new belt oh yes you can see it's stretched so first we've got to get the new belt on the spindle push it along is that it yes and then oh you can't see but I think it's a ceramic spindle it's certainly um, it's wider as well these oh I'll just quickly show you this because these normally hold absolute tons of dirt oh well there's a bit of dirt at the end that is pretty clean so again that shows that this machine hasn't had a lot of use because normally when you take out the brush strips of this type of machine it's full of fluff absolutely full of it so uh, excuse that these all need a bit more of a clean the bearings could do with a bit of an oiling which I will do but for the purpose of just quickly demonstrating again I'll uh, pop those brush strips back doesn't matter I don't think which uh, end cap goes on which well, it does in this case there we are make sure that's on yes and obviously we need to put the belt around this part so this is where it gets a little bit trickier because now I have to stretch the belt as well as guiding the end caps into the correct position which isn't always easy especially this way round <coughs> oh dearie me it's far easier to do this when you're not filming it you know once you get one in that's it I can guide the other side in right there we go make sure everything rotates freely and now I can pop back the base plate Let's just pop the uh, internal hose on first yes it needs a bit of a clean it's a bit more fluff there but as I say I'll have to do that later pop the screws back in and I believe let me just check this yes yes it does the screws unlike modern vacuums they don't screw into plastic they screw into a metal I don't know what you'd call it the receiver of the screw looks like it's brass but it's certainly you know it's metal it's uh, <laughs> they don't make them like they used to folks I, it's not just vacuum cleaners I'm sure if you watch other channels people who like um, older technology whether it be appliances or you know hi-fi stuff etc I'm sure everyone who makes videos like that will say they don't make them like they used to so there we go that's a new belt let's just give it a go yep fine and dandy time for a last quick demonstration
Well, there you go. That's the end of today's video. A fabulous Electrolux Electronic 506 upright vacuum cleaner. The new belt has worked wonders with this machine. Absolutely fantastic. I am so lucky to be able to find such mint condition vacuums. I mean, I do a lot of eBay searching. I spend half my life on eBay and this popped up as a buy it now and it looked okay from the pictures. So I took a chance and bought it and very, very happy with this lovely, lovely cleaner. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit strange and silly for liking vacuum cleaners, but if you're watching to the end, I think you must be a little bit strange and silly too. But we're all strange and silly together. As long as we enjoy our vacuum cleaners, what does it matter? What harm are we doing? <laughs> Dear me, I'm going to have to go and take my medication and have a lie down because I'm so excited. See you all next time for another enthralling video if you haven't subscribed if you've got to this stage please subscribe click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads and don't forget give me a thumb up it does help it encourages me to make more and more videos for your viewing pleasure so that's it for today thanks for watching and goodbye